Hello, my dudes. Rob from Open Source EV here, and today we are back to take a look at this guy. It is version two of our Ultimate MagSafe charging pad. It has a bunch of the same great features that made version one great with a ton of new updates. Let's first take a look at what's staying the same. Number one, the same OEM-like design. It has the same ability to use multiple power sources, USB-C from inside the console or our brand new power kit. It has the same floating MagSafe charging pad design. It has the same large storage area with the same rubber pad that's on the bottom there. It uses the same tool list adhesive list install. It just flips right in. This version though has been completely overhauled. Let me show you the differences. First, are the new dimensions. It fits even tighter and locks perfectly into place. The plastic in the surround has been shrunk. You now see less of it and it opens up the entrance to the storage area even better. The 3D printed TPU mat has been completely redesigned to fit beautifully. The biggest changes, though, they're underneath. It has a 3D printed plastic base for the rubber mat to sit on. This helps it fit beautifully. It is taped into place with automotive grade tape. It is not glued in. This makes it serviceable and it is sold individually if needed. Moving backward, there is now molding for the ultimate power kit. The excess is stored underneath from the cable and it is held in place by the barrel. Speaking of the ultimate power kit, it has a completely new cable. It uses the OEM power plug. It is now 100% toolless and 100% solderless. It uses the same OEM connector, but it's now a wire to wire connection and it uses genuine Tyco Git connectors in the connector itself. It is the only one like it in the world and only available from open source EV. Finally, in addition to the molding for the power kit, there is molding to tie down the excess cabling from the MagSafe charging pads. It's sized perfectly for the twisty ties that come inside the box with the charging pads themselves. That is the Open Source EV Ultimate MagSafe Charging Kit V2. It is a beautiful, functional, reliable, user serviceable way to actually charge your phone in your Rivian R1T and R1S. Next, let's look at assembly and installation. So let's talk about assembly. These are all of the pieces of all parts of the Ultimate MagSafe charging setup. So these two are included with the base kit. This is the charging kit, and these are the MagSafe charging pads. This is all available in multiple colors, and these potentially can be replaced by OEM Apple charging pads. Let's get right into the assembly, though. First step along the way, let's install the charging pads. So they slide into this hole. So one, goes in like so. The pads just press gently into place. The next one.
make sure you put the strain relief of the cable into the slot. That goes up and it slides into place. Tuck the excess of the cable that plugs into the OEM harness underneath the USB buck converter. There are six different mounting locations for those twisty ties. You can pick the one or two or more that is most convenient for you. And that is it, shown in real time. Let's go ahead and install it. Open the center console flaps and remove the top rubber pad on the wireless charger. It has two nubs at the front. You can peel it off like shown. It's just double-sided tape down. Next, we're going to remove this entire installation. It comes off as one piece. It is clipped at the front with three clips. You can use something as simple as a butter knife to remove it. For this demonstration, we're going to use a trim tool. It's available inexpensively off of Amazon. The idea here is to pull upward on the pad itself while inserting the trim tool or the butter knife in between the clips to dislodge them from the center console itself. This takes a little bit because there's multiple stages that you do have to release. Eventually it just pops out though. From here, turn it over and unplug the OEM connector. There's a little lever that you have to depress in order to pull it out from the pad itself. Probably don't want to drop it afterward. Installation is almost the exact opposite. Plug the new ultimate pad in. Insert the excess back into the hole that the cable comes from. Put the two tabs 
toward the rear of the vehicle in the slots and basically just press it right into place. And you're done. Thanks again for watching this video. This is Rob again from Open Source EV, and I can't wait to see you again in the next one.